Humanity never seems to stop building faster, stealthier, and more dangerous aircraft. And now meet the jet that has America watching closely, Russia's Su-75 Checkmate. It's advertised as cheaper than the F-35, stealthier than most of NATO's fourth-generation fighters, and, at least on paper, capable of flying farther than its American rival. Some reports even hint at AI co-pilot features and the option to operate without a human on board. That sounds futuristic. But history tells us that the journey from concept to combat aircraft is never smooth. So is this Russia's golden move in the 21st century arms race, or just another ambitious project destined to stall? Let's break it down. The Cold War may have ended decades ago, but the rivalry between the United States and Russia has simply evolved. Washington still dominates the skies with its vast fleet of F-35s and F-22s, while Moscow, struggling with sanctions, budget cuts, and a shrinking aerospace industry, keeps trying to prove it can still innovate. Enter the Su-75, a single-engine stealth fighter unveiled in 2021 at the MAX Air Show near Moscow. It was rolled out under bright spotlights, loud music, and dramatic branding. The name Checkmate wasn't chosen by accident. Chess has always been Russia's game of strategy, and branding a fighter jet with that title was a deliberate message to the West. This is meant to be a move that corners America. At first glance, you might mistake the Checkmate for an F-35's cousin. Both share angled twin tails, a narrow fuselage, and stealth-friendly lines. But those similarities are not necessarily copycat behavior. Stealth design has strict physics, and there are only so many ways you can shape a jet without breaking radar rules. The Checkmate's standout feature is its chin-mounted air intake, which sweeps under the fuselage. Its cropped delta wings and movable rudder vators are designed for agility, and Russian engineers claim it can pull up to 8G maneuvers while staying stealthy. Weapons? A lot. The Su-75 reportedly carries two short-range missiles internally, plus up to three longer-range ones in its belly bay. Add to that guided bombs, anti-ship missiles, and even old-school rockets when stealth isn't required. Total combat load? About 7.4 tons. Its projected combat radius is 1,500 kilometer, 930 miles, around 400 kilometer farther than the F-35 in stealth mode. That's a huge deal for countries that need long-range strike capabilities without relying on aerial tankers. The Checkmate's most eye-catching feature isn't just its stealthy design, but its price tag. Rostec has pitched the jet at roughly 25-30 million per unit, a fraction of what Western fifth-generation fighters cost. In comparison, the American F-35A comes in between $80 and $100 million per aircraft, depending on the variant and configuration, with lifetime sustainment expenses soaring far beyond that. This stark contrast makes it clear who Russia is targeting. Countries that want next-generation capability but can't afford to buy into the expensive American system. If the Su-75 actually delivers anywhere close to its promised performance at this price point, it could seriously disrupt the global fighter jet market. The Checkmate's manned systems and possibly even unmanned versions. In reality, this could start with something simpler, like maintenance prediction software and pilot workload reduction, before moving toward full autonomy. Russian media has hinted the Su-75 could act as a loyal wingman controller for unmanned combat drones, similar to U.S. and Chinese projects. If true, this would mean Russia is finally moving toward networked warfare. Unlike the U.S., Russia doesn't have the funds to build hundreds of these jets for its own air force. The Checkmate's survival depends heavily on foreign buyers. Without exports, this project might never leave the prototype stage. The jet unveiled in 2021 wasn't flight-ready. Analysts spotted missing hydraulic lines and wiring. Basically, it was a mock-up shell. With Western sanctions cutting Russia off from advanced electronics, Acquiring radar absorbent materials, avionics, and high tech components will be a huge challenge. Even the Su 57 still hasn't reached mass production due to supply issues. Rostec originally promised a first flight in 2023 and deliveries by 2027. We're in 2025 now, and there's still no evidence of a true test flight. That doesn't mean the jet is canceled, but delays are almost guaranteed. The Su-75 isn't aiming at the F-22 or China's J-20. It's designed to compete with the F-35 and possibly the upcoming Chinese J-35 carrier stealth fighter.
Both rivals already have flying prototypes and production lines. Russia is playing catch-up. Where it could stand out is cost. Many nations might prefer a good enough stealth jet for 30 million over a perfect one for 80 million. The economics alone could make it attractive if it works. On paper, the Su-75 Checkmate is a clever move. Stealthy, long-ranged, versatile, and affordable. But on paper is the key phrase. Russia's aerospace industry has a track record of delays, funding shortages, and political hurdles. If Checkmate flies, it could become the most exported Russian fighter of the 21st century, filling the role once held by the MiG-21 and Su-27. But if the challenges stack too high, it might go down in history as just another flashy prototype shown under bright lights, never making it past the drawing board. Either way, one thing is clear. The race for dominance in the skies is far from over. And the next move in this high-stakes game of chess might just determine who rules the air in the decades ahead. So that's Russia's new checkmate. Bold claims, flashy design, and maybe still missing a few bolts. What do you think? Future legend or just expensive cosplay of the F-35? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And hey, don't just ghost me like a stealth jet. Smash that like button, subscribe, and share this video with your squad. Because when it comes to fighter jets, the more eyes on the sky, the better the dogfight. See you in the next one. No afterburner required.